Get this in addition right next alongside actually the RTAC 2 which is right here go look at my review and first impressions test on this beast but we're testing out this Condor Pack Go Lock leather sheath and here it is let's go over the sheath here uh, go check out my first impressions video on it but this sheath is actually outstanding quality just like most of the other condors it's got a thick welt on there swivel belt loop these snaps because you're going to have to pull it up and then out because of the curve of that blade the design of it but I would not be in a hurry to replace this sheath honestly I probably wouldn't even replace this sheath I would probably maybe put like a, a strap through here and wear it over my shoulder because it is a bit it's not too big oh it's not too big to wear on your waist but you know if you want to kind of have it like free free swinging or anything like that you know you could do that put a shoulder strap through it but nothing about the sheath let's get to the knife itself this thing is made of 1075 high carbon steel zero convex grind faux hammer finish but it still looks nice it's got a sharp actually 90 degree spine on there which is polished it starts at 3 six, three sixteenths or is it a fourth of an inch uh, no it's three sixteenths three sixteenths tapers down into roughly fourth of an eighth of an inch I mean uh, I put a after I did my first impressions video and I did some more testing I put a six thousand grit uh, grind uh, I sharpened it with 6000 grit belt on the work sharp knife and tool sharpener it's real 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 sharp now the design of it of course is for chopping and for clearing brush if you had to it's a bit short for that though it's got hardwood handles that are pinned on there it's got a f three pins and a fourth lanyard pin here which I have added a slip knot lanyard which I put on all my knives Handle is great, feels great. Uh, knife is just it's an outstanding knife. So with this one as well as the Artac, the length allows you to use it as a draw knife. You just get right up in here and you can just shave away that bark. Of course the you know, I mean you could use it as that. I'm not gonna do that. You get why. So let's get to chopping. First impressions video I showed this is an outstanding chopper. Not a real good batoner though. But let me just show you. Put the lanyard on here. All right, let's flip it over. Hell,
I mean, well, almost lost it there. Oh boy, thing bites deep and splits wood fantastically. Now I'm actually going in here. So that's good, that's impressive, I think. Outstanding performance by the uh, Condor uh, Pack Olock here. Real outstanding performance. Very pleased with that purchaser there. So we're, we're here with an impressive specimen. That's going to be batoning what I deem as a less impressive specimen. Which actually was batoned by a great and very impressive specimen. This is just a piece of pine. That's a lot of fat wood in there. That's actually really ridiculous resin. Impacted. So this is a, a piece of pine, approximately three feet long. It's actually been halved, cut in half, cut in twain by the impressive Arterio Artec 2. Yeah. It was uh, batoned in half by that, so this cannot handle things like this really, but we're going to we're gonna try it out. I'm not really hoping. I'm not really expecting great results, honestly. Maybe I should be though. This is doing fine. It's not really designed to be a batoner. It's more of a chopper. And I'm not really one of those people that's like, oh. I need my knife to cut down six inch trees and be able to baton it in half without having to, without having to, uh, oh, I forget the word, hew it or whatever it is, I don't even know, without having a bucket, that's what it is, a bucket, I don't have to bucket it in half or anything. Ooh. None too impressed. Uh, just kidding, I am impressed because this thing did fairly well. Alright, so. Let's see what we did here. Came down from here, split a knot in half, split another knot, I guess, in half. That's pretty good. Alright, so this is the carving portion of the review. As you can see, we've processed it down by chopping, bucking, batoning. Now, you don't need to take a baton and do this. You can actually just use the back of your hand. Or, I mean, not the back of your hand, your palm or fist. Get it in there and then just push it down. And then you can just twist it. It comes right off. Alright, so that can help you process your kindling to get your fire started. Normally when I do this, I go with the grain. Let's do some carving here. It is a bigger blade, so it's a tad bit unwieldy. Honestly, if I had to choose any blade to carve, this actually this would never be a blade I want to carve with. It's not really made for carving. You can make feathers, they're just incredibly thick. You will not start a fire that way. So let's use the incredible 90 degree spine that came on here. 
which I was very impressed with. Let's make what you can start a fire with. Shavings, or dust, or whatever you want to call it. Look at that. Look at that. That was way quicker. Far simpler. You can make a fire with that, except not this, because it's incredibly wet. Carving, not quite the best. If you're skilled with it, you get used to it, yeah, you can carve. Shavings, simpler. I'd say more effective, honestly. What's your feather sticking master? Which I certainly am not. No, sir. Oh, I'm not even cutting on Let's try with the uh, front part of the blade here. Far more awkward as I thought. Yeah. Way more awkward, not quite as not as good. If it was a smaller blade, you know, continuous sweep would be better, but we kinda have a flat part. Yeah, not the best carver. All right, now let's take this, not that, this. Let's do some finer tasks with it. A, uh, what I would probably most likely do in the woods, because I don't carry them with me, is make a tent stake. So let's do that. Let me just get another piece, and we'll do that. Alright, so we got our longer stick here. Taken down by the ridiculous amounts of snow. And then covered by the ridiculous amounts of snow after I collected it. Winter in Massachusetts technically is over, but it's still raging. It's still going on, still snow is everywhere. Spring is not quite here. Real primitive looking vampire steaks, what I love. And of course you can just get in there. Do a bit more fine tuning on it. Well and there you go, there's your steak. Of course you can come up here and you can you know clear more bark out. For the sake of time I'm not gonna do that. Also I would probably not choose one with so many knots and curves in it. But, uh, now let's clean up this top up here. Crap. Let's do something I haven't really showed in many videos. Let's baton, or attempt to baton, through this. We're going to have to do this off camera, actually, I think. Some side of my camp. There we go. Ooh. Smells far too piney for me. Look at this. Ah. Well, it can baton through that very nicely. I would say. Look at that clean cut. If you're wondering why I had to do that. I chopped into it here, it bit deep and then split the wood, which is not good if I have to hammer this in. Alright, let's get up here. 
make precise push cuts. Actually, not yet. We're just gonna shave the bark off of there. Really quick, really brutal, really primitive way of doing it. Just yank your knife on there. All right. Now, kind of bevel, kind of chamfer at the top up here. So it's less likely to split out while hammering. And I uh, don't think I'll make a tent stake. Actually, maybe I will. This is more of a bed kind of stake. Like if you made a raised bed, you use this, hammer it in, and then just to hold stuff in place. Now, I'll do this. I'll make a tent stake. Not exactly the best to do this with. What am I doing here? here mm. a couple more hits and we should be good Roughly halfway through, and now I can't. Oh, there we go. Now I can't get the knife off. All right, not the best placement of that, but hey, I'm trying here. It's not really a detail work knife. That's a very primitive, very crappy notch, actually. I don't think that would hold a f bank line or paracord or tent line. Tarp, whatever you're using. Yeah, that's not very good. Uh, this is a terrible, terrible thing I'm doing here. I just feel bad about my skills. Actually, no, it could work. I think it could work. I would make a very, I would make a far better one if I had my saw and more detailed knife. All right, so we're talking about 90 degree spines here. And let's try out. Yep. Very sharp. Very sharp. Spine is uncoated. So you can get very nice sparks off there. I am burning my pants. That might be better than the actual striker this thing comes with. use the other spine. Oh, that one's even better. Chops well. Chops incredible, actually. Sharp 90 degree spine. That's a plus. 1075 steel. You can hit it with a piece of flint or a quartz. It will damage the spine, honestly. But it will serve its purpose and make sparks. Faux hammered finish. You know, it looks nice. It's non-coated on the, uh, the grind here. So it will rust. Non-coated up here, so that will rust as well. But I haven't really gotten into that condition yet where it will rust. It comes out of the box very sharp. Use a work sharp, get it even sharper. Use a 6000 grit, incredible edge. Handle design, very good for choking back and chopping, especially you have this lanyard on here. Lanyard that's right here. Put that on, you know, tighten it up and stuff. Chop, loosen it, come back up here, do more detailed chops. Right around here is the sweet spot for chopping. Alright, right here. Carving is more here. Not really close to the to the uh to where your finger is, which is really where I want to be. There's no choil, and there's another spine piece of the 90 degree spine here, but you may cut yourself if you try to do that. So be careful. Up here, I haven't really found a purpose for it yet. This sweep is actually good for uh, cutting 
like vines and stuff. Like where I am, there's some thick grape vines and stuff, and strangler vines. I cut it. I tuck my shirt in more. I cut those with that. You know, it works very well, very well actually, for that because it's it's got that weight and that speed and that chopping. Just look to it. Just look at it. Just screams chopper. It's actually far smaller than I thought it was going to be. But it's an outstanding knife. Highly suggested. 56 bucks. Alright. Outstanding blade. Highly suggested by Inner Beast Outdoors. So, that's all for today, guys. This is going to be a long one. So, um, you know, like, share, subscribe. Really help the channel grow. I appreciate all your comments that you leave me. Uh, and, yeah, I guess that's it. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.